Hello everybody, I'm meteorologist Mark Lomano with a tropical update. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Well, why don't we get right to it. As of this recording, these were the coordinates. This is the data. 50 mile per hour winds moving to the north northeast at 14. So Colin has finally made a shift to moving to the east. And what we're going to see is we're going to see it continue on its merry way there. Monday afternoon, we're going to see winds at 50 miles per hour. It'll be moving closer to the Gulf, and then overnight, it'll move into the state. Tuesday overnight, we are looking at this storm being along the coast of Georgia and Florida. Again, this would be Tuesday early in the morning, so Monday overnight, Tuesday early in the morning, and then it is going to move quickly out of here. The future track shows much more widespread and heavier rain throughout the day. So while the morning saw more on and off, and in a lot of cases, light showers, this afternoon, much heavier rain, and this is where the concern for flooding kicks in. For the next 48 hours, this will be moving to the north and the east, and this will bring a lot of that cloud cover convection out of the way, but notice how the precipitation still stays with us. So Tuesday, still a chance for rain. I have about a 60% shot on the seven day forecast, and it'll, this, you know, this cloud cover here is going to stick around. We'll still see chances for afternoon storms after the storm has, or the tropical storm has moved out. The difference is, again, it'll be situated more in the afternoon, whereas right now, the rainfall's been going on evening, overnight. We've had rainfall all parts of the day. It hasn't just been daytime heating fueled. Rainfall accumulation is high, and this is why we do have a flood watch in effect through midnight tonight. And even throughout the rest of the week, those afternoon storm chances keep the rainfall accumulation up. Uh, so this is going to be a situation where, yeah, we're going to have a lot of rainfall and that's just uh, that's just it. The big concern for damage of winds and flooding, you know, those are the major things. After that, it's really going to be more a matter of, you know, are we going to see an isolated tornado at all? Are we going to see, um, are we going to see uh, any hail with this? So we'll see what kind of storms form today. Otherwise, expect the temperatures to increase later on the Mr. Sparky seven-day forecast as the sun returns. But again, we are not getting rid of the chance for rain. Totally, they'll just be situated more in the afternoon.